Pain's always there. But suffering is a choice. Well, now we know it's true. Orange is the New Black is really popular. Up to now, it's been difficult to quantify how many people are watching TV shows on streaming services like Netflix, Amazon, and Hulu. But now Nielsen has released its first report on streaming viewership. A Wall Street Journal review of the data reveals that between June 17th and 19th, the season four premiere of Orange is the New Black was watched by 6.7 million U.S. viewers. That's good enough to rank it as the second most watched cable drama behind HBO's Game of Thrones. The tradition of Festivus begins with the airing of grievances. I got a lot of problems with you people. No. Nielsen also reports Seinfeld reruns on Hulu reached 706,000 U.S. viewers in the first five days they were available. As expected, audiences for streaming services tend to skew younger than regular TV. Nielsen's data reveals, for example, 44% of viewers who watch Better Call Saul on Netflix are between the ages of 18 to 34. That compares to 24% of the same age group that watches the series on AMC. Nielsen's data reveals overall 16% of people who watch a show on Netflix also watch it on traditional TV. Much like its measurement of traditional TV viewership, Nielsen uses a sample group, in this case a panel of 40,000 U.S. homes, to measure streaming audiences. But unlike traditional TV ratings, Nielsen is only tracking streaming data for TV studios that opt in and ask for data on particular shows or time frames. How valuable is Nielsen's data to the TV industry? Well, that depends upon who you ask. Netflix has long argued ratings for its shows have little meaning since it doesn't sell advertising. Plus, Netflix says online viewing is on demand and stretches over longer time frames than traditional TV. But the data could be valuable to the studios who negotiate with companies like Netflix, Amazon, and Hulu over licensing fees for their shows. And media executives concerned over Netflix in particular, eating into traditional TV viewership, have begun to reconsider licensing large amounts of content to Netflix and making it available relatively quickly.